I'd actually done an article a while back, and it was titled, Insatiable Greed, a Psychological Disorder. That was actually, that was the title, and it ended in a question mark, because that was not so much a statement as it was a question, though I think there's plenty of evidence to support the suggestion that it could be a mental illness. The level of greed that we're seeing from corporations, from Wall Street, from politicians, is this really indicative of mental illness? Is this level of greed, which I call insatiable greed, is this really nothing more than a simple addiction? Much like alcohol or drugs, even sex, you know, gambling, depending on what your vice is, on what your vice might be. But I do believe it is a legitimate question, and I think it should be looked into. Um, I don't know if there's ever actually been studies done on this, but if there haven't been, I suggest we do them. Because I think this is uh, a very cromulent and important question, and I believe that there is evidence to support it. Let me go through this a second here. So, when I say or suggest that insatiable greed is mental illness... Let's analyze what these Wall Street people and what politicians do when it comes to making money for themselves. We've seen this over and over again. Every time they have a decision to make, it's always the decision that puts more money in their pockets. They always leave the people hanging out to dry, and when they do give them something, it's almost always symbolic. Now, sometimes you may get some crumbs, but they're not nearly enough. It's more like a little treat for being good boys and girls, you know, like... Good boy, here's a treat. Now shut up and go away. But other than that, I mean, it's just like, pfft, we're not here to serve you. We're here to serve corporations and the rich because we're in that club, so you're on your own. Go away. Leave it, let us rig the system however we want. Not taking into account that by ignoring the people, they're destroying the very foundation of the system that makes them rich. They don't care. They don't see that. All they see is dollar signs at the end of the tunnel for them. So every decision they make is designed to take from the people and give to themselves. And because they don't actually care about what happens to the average person, which is the vast majority of the population, I wonder. It's a very sociopathic tendency, um, a very psychopathic mindset. So I really think there is evidence to suggest that this is a psychological disorder. And that someone who has this kind of addiction to money, and even power, is best, uh, you know, best referred to a shrink. <laughs> you know, um, it's really about the fact that we are not equipped, in my in my view, to physiologically handle the kind of power that comes with that much wealth, and it shows in the decisions we make when we get that much wealth. We tend to forget about the world around us, and then we just worry about filling our pockets with more money or filling our homes with more stuff, um, just doing things that we want to do, not worrying about other people. Now, there is a certain degree of like, okay, we'll do your own thing, that's cool, go on a vacation, buy a new car, buy a new home, whatever, but at some point, when you make decisions that yield a negative impact on everyone else around you and enriches yourself and you just don't care to me that is indicative of an addiction which of course is classified as a mental illness now it is treatable but how would we treat something like this because if this is true and our system is indeed based on the promotion and preservation of a mental illness of an addiction whoa and we got a lot of work to do before we can really get our act together. But the first step in solving any problem is recognizing there is one. So, um, you know, I just wanted to get that out there. I really think that there is evidence to support this. Insatiable greed is a mental illness. And I think we should study it further. 